What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? It's your boy GS. Welcome back for another Meta 25 Online Rank Match. And today, as you see, it's time to dust it off, baby. It's time to bring back the fourth down swag. Now, if anybody is known, have no idea what I'm talking about. Last year, I went ahead and was like, you know what? I'm doing fourth down swag. I'm punting and kicking field goals on fourth downs. I don't care if I'm on the 32-yard line and it's fourth and inches. I'm a kick a field goal or I'm a punt the ball. And a lot of you guys really enjoyed it. But the problem was, once I got to like a level six or seven, and I started playing tougher competition, I had to kick it out the window. There was no way I could win really punting the ball six or seven times a game. But you know, we're bringing it back. You know, we're going to try and climb the leaderboards only using fourth down swag. So... I already got, you know, six or seven gameplays. Oh, that right there was such a horrible throw. I seen him. I seen Pat Willie way deep in the middle. And I threw it anyways. That's that tunnel vision, man. That's only staring down one receiver, knowing he's covered, and still throw it anyways. That right there was just a horrible throw. So, you know, like I was saying, man, I'm going to try my best to climb the leaderboards, playing fourth down swag, punting and kicking field goals on fourth down, using the special teams. So, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult. I'm really, really, really going to need good defense in order for me to go ahead and win games punting two to three times a game. You know, because those are uh, possessions that usually people don't just give away. You know, they always go for it on fourth down. So, I think that's why a lot of people enjoyed the fourth down swagness of last year because it's different. You know, everybody goes for it on fourth down. You don't really see people playing special teams. But this year, we're back on the fourth down swag. We got a whole new name dedicated to only fourth down swagness so i know i'm already late but it's the browns going up against the 49ers and uh you know tough matchup but you know the games are you know they, they might be not so close at the beginning because i just started um you know the name and i'm going up against newbies and i already got you know my book down i got all this stuff down so i'm figuring out I, I should be doing pretty good until i reach you know tougher competition so bear with me for the first uh couple of games or whatever right here we go over the middle we hit him with the skinny as you saw brandon whedon was injured and he was out for the game in comes jason campbell you know you got to show the light-skinned brother some love too look at look at uh jason campbell over there looking <laughs> looking like a, a, a chewy caramel just mad light-skinned for no reason over there looking like the inside of a milky way <laughs> Look at my boy Jason Campbell. He getting it done though. He's getting it done. He's my he might lead us to victory. Second to go. Oh, look at the light skinned warrior going outside. Look at the light skinned warrior. That's it, yo, Jason Campbell. If you got a Twitter, hook me up, man. I'm a you, you might be you you might be my new player this year, man. The light skinned warrior. The light skinned warrior. So we're up seven to zero. And you know, we're back on defense going up against a very tough team. You know, but the toughness of the Niners are oh, has been defensively. So being able to score has to put your confidence up, and and hopefully we can just go ahead and make a stop, hold them to a field goal, something that we can just go ahead and maintain this lead. So uh, he decides to hand the ball off right there, good stop right there. And this is my second game with the Browns. I lost with the Browns during the A through Z series. So hopefully we can get some revenge and actually win with this team. So. Uh, first and ten right here after Bolden gets the first down. Yo, did you guys see what Bolden did yesterday on, on Sunday? Yo, Bolden went nuts. Bolden went nuts. And I went up against Colin Kaepernick in fantasy. And I didn't care. Every yard, I was like, yes, keep giving me more. I don't give a damn about, even if it's a pay, I don't care about fantasy, man. I want my team to win. I'm not one of those people who hope my team does bad. You know, hell no. Kaepernick, I, I was hoping he threw 4,000. Even if I was going against him, I didn't care. We won, though, which was a good thing, man. We started off 1-0. That was great. Right there, we sent a nice little edge pressure, and we end up stopping him. Fourth and 10, he decides to kick his field goal. So we got two timeouts, a little less than a minute left. Let's see if the light-skinned warrior could go on ahead and bring us a, a scoring drive right here. You know, I know it's going to be tough, but hopefully we can just go ahead and at least ease our way into field goal range. You know, something that could go ahead and uh, give us a, a two-score lead or, you know, maybe a four-touchdown lead. So we start off with the run, and we get a really good game. You know, nine yards, can't complain about that. We decide to no huddle, and oh, thankfully he didn't go for the shoestring. Which he should have, which definitely was a mistake by him. He allowed me to actually run out of bounds. Right here, the light skinned warrior standing in the pocket. And we hit him with a hot run. And I threw that one. Woo, that was close. 
That was close. Could have been picked off if he switched on, but thankfully he didn't. We're still in the pocket. We go to the skinny. We find Gordon at about the 40 yard line. We call a timeout. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Only one timeout remaining. We're looking. Whoop! We end up hitting with a nice little out route with Benjamin. And we call another timeout. 18 seconds. No timeouts. Let's see if we can go ahead. We already in field goal range, but let's see if we get the touchdown. Look at this nonsense right here. We end up with the skinny. How's that another touchdown? I thought it was a touchdown, so the clock is ticking. I'm like, oh my god, it wasn't a touchdown. Quick, 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 quick. Go to goal line, go to goal line. Maybe I can sneak it in. Seven seconds left. Can I get the play off? Tickety tock, tickety tock, tock, tock. And I'm going. Let's see if we can get up. One second left. And the light skin warrior comes through for the touchdown. Look at Jason Campbell rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Arm through the football. This man is Super Saiyan human. This man. Is, he's not human. I'm telling you, the light-skinned warrior is here. To, that's why I lost with the Browns in the first time. If I knew they had the light-skinned warrior, I would have put my boy Campbell in, but I didn't know that, so that's why I lost. Brandon Whedon wasn't doing that good. So right now, up 14-3, to we have yet to have uh, been forced to do any type of special teams. We haven't even seen a fourth down yet, which is good. You know, so, uh, you know, the fourth down swag, it, it's, it's pressure. It's pressure to try and win games due to the fact that Offense has to be extra crispy. I'm not talking about, you know, that KFC original. No, 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 no. It has to be extra crispy because they have three downs to get a first down. If not, like I said, I could be at the... It, the only time I went for it last year, if, uh, if I was at about, you know, the 38, 37-yard line, and, you know, no team is going to pump from their own, you know, 35-yard line. But if their field goal kicker doesn't have the leg... And it's fourth and one or fourth and inches, I would go for it. But if I'm on a 35 yard line, my kicker can't make it, and it's fourth and 10, I'm probably gonna punt. So, you know, trying to, you know, try and be realistic as possible. And like I said, the offense has to be extra crispy. I got three downs to get a first down. If not, in comes the special teams. Defense has to be extra crispy because. Uh, I'm going to be punting and kicking field goals on fourth down. So, you know, I'm going to be giving possessions away where I know my opponent won't be. They're going to be going for it and probably getting success success on the fourth down. So, you know, like I said, man, the game of watch has got to be crispy. Right here, man, we try to hit him with a uh, read option and we go nowhere. Second and 12 right here. We end up standing in the pocket. We go to an out route. Beautiful throw. And look at going. Whoops, excuse me, son. I got touchdown to score. We're at about the 40 yard line right here. We want to be able to at least get in field goal range. That way, worst come scenario, worst case scenario, scoring wise, we should be able to kick a field goal. So, second and one right here after a nice running play. We decide to hit him with the spread. We decide to spread. Whoop, whoop, excuse me, son. We decide to hit him. We spread him open. We spreading them wide open. So the fourth quarter is 14 to 10. And he's still in this ballgame. You know, he can hold me to a field goal. But the light skinned warrior has touchdowns on his mind. And can he make it? Oh, oh my God. He ran out at the one yard line. But as you see, man, Jason Campbell was putting in work. We end up rewarding Richardson for the touchdown. And we go up 21 to 10. And, you know, we've been really, really successful on offense. You know, being able to run the ball, being able to pass the ball to a minimum. I haven't passed too much. I think at the end of the game, Jason Campbell was 8 for 10 and Brandon Whedon was like 3 for 6. So I threw like 16 times or probably less than that. Um, I ran the ball over 20 some odd times or something like that. So uh, here he is right here hitting us with a no huddle right here. You know, trying to play some coverage defense. Trying to, you know, bait him into a pass. But he ends up running the ball. You know, getting nice games. But I'll take that. I'll take him running the ball, keeping the ball on the ground, killing clock. And, you know, that's fine with me. Right there, big pass. Uh, bad users possibly should have had that. So, third and two right here. We end up sending some man-to-man -man edgy, and we get him. Again, he called no huddle, and the same thing happened. So, we received the ball right here. I feel like game is over. That was his opportunity to go ahead and make something happen. So, uh, after that play right here, second and ten. Like I said, it, it gets a little, you know, a little nervous because right now, you know, if I don't pick up any yards on first down the second down it's like okay i gotta be able to give myself a manageable first down you know so right here we try to hit him with the qb rap but it ends up getting stopped second and 12 right here as you see i'm just basically playing for the field goal you know um i've been doing that a lot this year you know trying to play as safe as possible when i whenever I get to this area you know i'm trying to be able to you know put myself in a position where i don't make any mistakes where i guarantee myself some points you know unless i need to score but if i don't 
I'll run, you know, three times and settle for a field goal, taking time off the clock. But as you saw, the light skinned warrior, he's like, oh no, we're not, we're not doing this kicking field goal nonsense. We score a touchdown because I'm on the field. So we end up scoring a touchdown and the game is almost pretty much getting out of hand at this point, you know. So uh, right here, he does hit me over the top really, really quickly and he does end up scoring a touchdown. Definitely caught me off guard right there. Was not expecting just a quick. You know, hike and throw right there. So good play by him. So of course, you know, we gotta expect the onside kick, which he does go for, and we do end up recovering. And as usual, the light skin warrior, he's like, you know what? Let's uh let's see if we can catch him off guard because he's probably gonna be expecting a run. So we're gonna hit him with the over the top play. Let's see if it works. And it does look look at this dot though. Look at that dot Boop, right on the money. Yo, the light skin warriors for real. The light skin warrior is for real, Jason Campbell came in as a replacement, running touchdowns, throwing dots. He came in as a leader. First thing I remember vividly, I remember vividly because I went to this game. I went to this game and people might be asking, and I'm sorry, it's like, no, so for you. People might be asking, why are you at Eagle Stadium? Because I pick different stadiums when I'm at home. Just to, it, it makes it fun. I don't know. Just look, and it's a different stadium for the teams. So I always do it. But nonetheless, man, like I was saying, the first thing he came into the hundo, the hundo. First thing he came in when he said, Huddle, oh my god. First thing he said when he came in the huddle, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. He came in, he said, yo, look at my glowing skin. Look how golden and, and just bronze it is. And we look. And we're like, damn, that is kind of, you know, a little super Saiyanish, man. That's a little weird. And he's like, you know, I got that light skin juice. Okay, lead us to victory there, homeboy. As you saw that punt right there, uh, you know, the EA guys like, oh, word, you want a punt being up a lot? And I'm like, thank you. And we end up recovering that uh, losing ball right there. And Jason Campbell is at it again. He went nuts. He got, he does get injured. He's pledging of allegiance right there. Look, look. Hand on his chest. I pledge of allegiance. And uh, we do end up obviously winning the game. But he does come back because he's the light-skinned warrior. And we end up doing very, very well. Only forced to one special teams play. And we end up recovering the ball right back. Because it's doing right off of his head and we recovered so last play of the game we end up just winding the time down and we try a Hail Mary at this point and we don't get anything but that's the end of the game guys hope you guys enjoyed as always man if I done kept your attention for a full 12 minutes go ahead and represent that in the like section go ahead hit that like button let your boy know you saw the whole damn video of me and the light skin warrior fourth down swag is back I hope you're excited because I am I'm back give it to me baby peace